Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Chandra Awesome again. In this today's video, we are going to start with another sheet metal tool that is called flanges. The flanges are nothing but the bends of the sheet metal that we are working with. So when you click on flange tool, you can see the dialog box of flanges and it is asking edges or side faces of the flange. So it is going to make a bend of sheet metal okay so how does it works i'm going to use the same model what we, we, are, we are worked with okay let me hide this sketch now let's work with here with this one and it is asking an edge so let's work with the edge so when i click on edge the flange is formed this is how the flange is formed it's like a make a bend to the metal and so, so the other manipulations of this flange is see the flange alignment. The flange alignment we have three types: what is inner, outer, and middle. So this inner flange difference is let me show from the top view or bottom view, then you clearly understand. So this is the flange bend, right guys? It is defaulted, selected as inner, which means it is um, making bend to the inside of the uh, flange, instead of the sheet metal. When I click on outer, it is not going to cross the uh, original dimension of sheet length. So when I click on error, it acts take bend as inner, and will not consider the other length of the sheet metal so and when I clicking on metal middle it it bends exactly at the middle of the uh, line let's for example like it acts like a middle edge this is the final edge of the model right so this edge acts as a middle so that is the bend is going to be taken in three ways three alignments okay next i am going to set the outer one because i don't want to change the dimension of this metal and we have that end type and end type is nothing but this is the after the bend you can see extrude other sheet metal this is uh, end type should act as a blend you can also decrease the direction c if I click the 15 mm, it acts only 15 mm, or else you can do the blend operation, or else you can give the up to entity or give up to entity with offset. You already know up entity with offset means we need to sell an entity and maintain some offset distance. Okay, that's I'm going to work with the blind for now, and it is asking bend angle how much bend you want to do with the sheet so for default value it acts like a 90 degrees now you can give other degrees also see when you click on money degrees the band the sheet metal actually turn goes to 150 degrees bend uh, or else if you want to give 70 degrees so this is the band you can manipulate with the flanges okay or else you can also change the direction either inside or outside and not only in the bend angle we have another control type that is align to geometry align from direction align from geometry means it is asking some it should be parallel to some of it either of sketch or other of the plane okay let me show the planes so, so parallel to it is asking which is parallel to it see when i click on plan it is exactly parallel to the, this one or else if you want to work with other you can do that or else you can also use the bend angle this is the alignment guys you need to work with uh, while you're working with the other projects you might and you will get understand and we have another check options that is called automatic mentor mentor and use model band radius this automatic mentor is formed automatically 
with maintaining of 45 degrees with default value this the metal is like a bond a sheet metal and the value 45 degrees over constraint to see the original one just increase the value to 84 degrees and you can see it acts like a making the bands from both sides like this one and this one let's reduce this then you can see the difference how this metal angle is forming so when i clicking on automatic metal it follows the uh, same face length of face angle of original sheet metal okay that is the use of metal and clicking on automatic meter and we have another called use model band radius actually we are working with the existing model right so there in the existing model we used a uh, 2 mm radius as band radius if you are not aware of it let me check this and let me edit the part now you see the band radius 2 mm so there also it is working with the same sheet model band radius or else if you want to manipulate it you can also uncheck this and give how much band radius you want okay like this you can use the band radius of the flange and and last but not least we have partial flange when clicking on this you can see the partial flange the partial flange is means guys only one side of flange it should be formed for the sheet metal the whole band is not going to be happen only the uh, one side of it you can blend by making some gap to this other side so or else you can also add uh, and in the partial flange you have overall parameters you have pre edge or per edge or per chain so so this per chain whole edges twin edges means so when you working with the plan uh, uh, when you working with the flanges uh, it is we have another option called whole adjacent edges so which means the adjacent flange side it will not go any effect so when i uncheck this it goes on effect and it removes the other flange you can see the visibility here right and and we have the direction also <coughs> either to per chain work per edge to work okay if you have continues then you might understand this work with per chain and per, per edge so we are working with it just now and we have another for and conditions this is also same guys we are it is like a partial flange not the fully flange okay so here we can give the how much it should be you can manipulate how much uh, this this distance of flange you want to be okay and you can see this the gap is coming in the sheet metal this is called relief as I explained in the previous videos that relief is like a uh, gap between when you bend the sheet metal so if you maintain a relief you can it is a good approach when you are working with the bends so it will not affect the other sheet metal if you don't want to be this relief you can also change that so in the partial flange you can come see that relief you need to do the edit manually with the other relief tool that relief tool will be here will be here see the bend relief this is what to work with the reliefs okay i will explain you at the last about it and we have another option called second bond so second bond means we should have two bonds like a so when i click on it now see we added two bonds like a 
we are going to bend only middle part of sheet metal like this you can add the bounce where the if you don't want this you can also uncheck this if you want one two bands you can click on it so by move by moving the distance the relief is getting changed see here relief is change relief is different so if i give the more value we get the perfect relief so like this you can also make the partial flanges so this will be very useful for the sheet metals the flanges acts like a uh, band band for the sheet metal guys i hope you might understand how to work with the flanges tool in on shapecast software in the sheet metals these are acts like this is same like in any other cast of product guys so this is how the flanges work i hope you might understand what i wanted to teach you here uh, if you didn't understand well please let me know in the comment box and if you get the information from me please do like share and subscribe our channel and thanks for watching in the coming videos i'll explain the other complete tools of sheet metal okay thank you guys thanks for watching and have a nice day